Konnichiwa, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about networking during a pandemic. Za egyo desu. So let's get going. This is the fifth year of the Sales Japan series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minatoku, here in downtown Tokyo. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, and now my new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in no Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 298. Today, we're talking about networking in a time of COVID. The last two and a half years, business networking has been dead. The usual suspects who hosted live networking events migrated everything online, so you become totally restricted in your ability to create any relationships with the people attending the event. The host kicks it off, the speaker speaks, the Q&A gets underway, the hosts wrap it up, and you are left hanging there without any good means of connecting with possible clients on the call. The hosts these days don't release who is on the call, so you are left with the names shown on the screen, which can often be single names, initials, even numbers and not much help to try and find them later on LinkedIn. Lately, very tenuously, some face-to-face -face networking events have been taking place in Tokyo. Everyone is wearing masks, doing fist or elbow bumps and being careful, trying hard not to catch COVID from each other. It is a curious sales activity, though, because you are literally weighing up the amount of new business you can find at the networking event against how sick you will become if you catch COVID at the event. That is a hell of a thought for a salesperson. Nevertheless, that is where we are today, and that is our reality. It feels like you are throwing the dice every time you go to one of these in-person events. Will I get the deal and not get COVID? Is the equation in mind? Is it worth it? Are the risks warranted? This is a scary prospect. Because most people catch COVID from people who themselves may not even be aware they have it. The little temperature gauges being used at the door give the temperature reading, but the individual may be infected, but the fever hasn't kicked in yet. The best we can do is to make sure the hosts are checking people's temperatures, have plenty of hand cleaners available, keep our mask on as much as possible, and try to keep some distance from people. Eating and drinking is a problem because off come the masks and then they don't go back on again. I was at the first networking function in a long time recently. Masks were off and conversations were in full throttle. I was thinking, uh-oh, have I now hit a super spreader event? I missed the bullet on that occasion, but that was good luck rather than good planning. I suggest let's make sure temperature checks 
are being done properly at the venue. Only eat and drink if everyone is seated at a table with sufficient distancing between guests and keep the masks on as much as possible. If it is a stand-up buffet arrangement, well, we could all probably lose a few kilos anyway. Uh, so forego the food and drink and keep your mask on the whole time. Keep washing your hands throughout the evening and avoid handshakes and go for the fist and elbow bumps instead. If you have to shake hands, then discreetly wash your hands immediately afterwards. Find out more when we come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. The show today is being brought to you by, on the 27th of July, we'll be doing our flagship Dale Carnegie course. Wonderful program. Amazing Amazing program for a number of things. Communication skills, leadership skills, coming out of your comfort zone skills. People skills are really phenomenal in that program, actually. And also for pushing yourself to really become someone who's outstanding as a professional, able to deal with all sorts of individuals. It's really... Uh, a fascinating program and well there's nothing like it anywhere this is the only so literally it's a one of a kind only Dale Carnegie has this program it's a one of a kind awesome 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 program which I, uh, I love teaching I also love teaching high impact presentations that's going to be on the 28th of July that's a, an amazing program too this is really again it's it's a it's a program that's so solid. It's, it just brings out the best in people so quickly. The coaching, individual coaching in this program is just phenomenal. Nothing, nothing is good anyway. A really phenomenal program. On the 5th of August, we'll be doing our Winning with Relationship Selling program. Very solid, very, very solid sales program. All of the elements of the sales cycle all of the structures you'll ever need, all of the techniques you'll ever need to know. It's got the whole works. It's everything in a box, this course, really. You don't need anything apart from what's in this course. You've got the whole works right here for you. Phenomenal program. Check out our website, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Goodbye, best selling books. Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan. And Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. And they're all available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com Welcome back. We should have a brilliant ruler to run over prospective clients anyway, but if you don't, then start developing one. What we want is to know within one minute whether we are talking to a prospective client or not. Normally, back in the good old days of a big crowd and a hiving throng, 
we would try to meet as many people as possible. That meant we had to keep each interaction brief in order to meet as many possible prospects in the room as we could in the time available. We were working the room at full pelt. We need to keep that mentality in the somewhat thinned out networking crowds today. I have one question which immediately tells me if this is a possible client for me or not. I need to get that baby out early to decide if it is worthwhile spending any more than the minimum possible time with this potential COVID carrier. The idea should be self-preservation at all costs and to keep healthy while trying to progress your business. This requires absolutely no apologies. We want to meet them, strike up a conversation, identify if they are a possible client, and then lay the groundwork for a follow-up contact later from the safety of your home or office over Zoom. Yes, there will be people who will be subsequently ghosting you. This has certainly happened to me. But there are also others who will give you the time for the Zoom call and have a conversation, taking the initial conversation to a much greater depth. There is a balancing act needed here between spending more time so that they don't ghost you and them giving you COVID. I would rather suffer the ignominy of being ghosted than being out for a week with a COVID infection. If they ghosted you during the, your follow-up, were they really a prospective client after all? I would say the answer is no. So don't worry about them and concentrate on finding people who need your solutions and need them now. We are not out of COVID yet. In fact, there is talk now of a seventh wave for Tokyo. Events are happening, though, and we can attend them if we are super careful. Discretion is the better part of valor in these cases, even if you are feeling young and bulletproof and you don't pass it on to someone more vulnerable, you will still have to avoid others for a week and may not be feeling all that brilliant. That means a week has been lost at least. If you get long COVID, then we are talking a serious loss of productivity. Some people lose their sense of taste and smell, and so they are relegated to a zombie-like existence of eating to survive, but with no pleasure involved anymore. Wear your mask all the time. Stand apart while talking. Make sure temperatures are being checked at the door. Avoid shaking hands and keep washing your hands frequently. Will be a start to networking and staying healthy. How big a deal would it have to be before you would risk your health to find it through networking? No deal is worth getting sick for, folks. So let's all stay healthy. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan Series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.